today's video, we're going to discuss nursing, one of the most popular pre-med courses in the Philippines. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Aura. Hi. I make videos for aspiring doctors. And finally, I'm doing this series where I'm interviewing different pre-meds and med students about their pre-med courses. So for today, we have two guests. Hi. First of all, this is Nathan. Hi, Nathan. Hello. Nathan, uh, also took up nursing. He then went to med school. And right now, he's also a part-time assistant professor and clinical instructor, diba? Okay, Nathan, my first question for you is, what is the biggest misconception of people, the public, about nursing? I think one of the biggest misconceptions about nurses would be that they are the doctor's assistants or yeah. parang mga alala, you know? Which is very untrue. Okay, so malalaman pa natin yan later. Ay, ang pangit na upo ko. Yes. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and then, our second guest is Joe. Hi, Joe. He's a fresh grad ng nursing. Uh, batch 2019. And right now, he's a first year med student. Um, ikaw naman, Joe, nung high school ka, ano yung sinabi nila sa'yo about nursing? Parang sabi, mag-nurse ka kasi blah, blah, blah. Ano yung impression mo about nursing? Uh, lalo na may sister kasi nursing graduate siya. Sabi niya na, if gusto ko daw na easy lang ang ang college life ko, I would take up nursing kasi madali nga lang daw. Tapos, uh, as I went to college, na-realize ko na, no, but, ay, parang, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay lang yan. <laughs> parang, it's so not true na madali lang daw nursing. Oo oh, nga. Oh my God, first time ko marinig yan na madali daw yung nursing. Oh my God. <laughs> so, ngalingalin natin yung sister. <laughs> na joke lang. Si ate, eh, no? Madali daw. So, According to the World Health Organization, this is how they define nursing. But for you, how would you describe nursing in a nutshell? For other people to understand it better, just think about it as if doctors are treating the disease process, you know, nurses naman are there to treat and alleviate symptoms. And especially now, largely more of preventive then and not any more confined to the walls of the hospital. Okay, so take me back to the time that uh, you were deciding on what college course to pick. What made you ultimately decide to go for nursing? I don't think for me, nursing is a practical course. So I think it's nice na kahit hindi man ako mag-pursue with medicine, parang at least uh, I have other opportunities na nanjan for me. Yeah, so parang very practical decision siya. Well, ako yung parang naging deciding factor sa akin is that you gain hospital or clinical exposure early on in the course. So, I am not from a family of doctors. So, I I knew I wanted to be a doctor at a young age. Pero hindi ko kasi alam if I'd like the setting of yung healthcare industry. Ay, oo nga, no. Hindi ko naisip yun. Na parang, <laughs> parang meron <laughs> parang meron kang... Oh, kasi sayang eh. Sure. At least, kung hindi ko pala gusto yung hospital, di ba? Four okay. years muna, hindi eight years. I love years it. Nice. Okay, so can you give us tips also on how to pick a nursing school? You have to be practical then. I think you should consider yung distance niya from your house kasi medyo full-time na course talaga yung nursing. Same, oo nga. Sinabi ko rin yun dun sa isa kong video na if you can, if you can ha, stay close to home or make sure lang na maganda yung support system mo. Yeah. Ikaw, Joe, may dadagdag ka ba? Aside sa ano po, aside sa ranking sa board, siguro maganda din na i-consider mo yung facilities. So, alam niyo rin kung saan nagjo-duty na hospital, yung school niyo. Yep. Okay. And since Nathan also mentioned yung mga Board exam performance, papakita ko na lang din yung top performing schools in the recent yeah. uh, nursing licensure exam. Siyempre, some would argue din na hindi naman talaga yun sa school but also sa studyante. Kung paano yung yeah. study habits mo and everything. Pero take note din, some schools kasi they take in a different month. So mm. baka they're not here. I think December ah, ata sila nagtitake. Oh, okay, ayun. Basta isearch nyo na lang PRC uh, board exam results. Alright, so now let's take a look at the sample curriculum so that we'll know kung ano talaga yung inaaral sa nursing. Like, ano yung subjects. Ito, sample lang to from the school ni Nathan dati. Ito, majors nyo na to. Kasi Ay. syempre, first year and second year. ba? Ano pa, may mga general subjects pa. Pero focus tayo sa majors ng nursing. Ito yung first year subjects and second year subjects. Ito naman yung third year and fourth year. Kayo, Nathan and Joe, ano yung naalala niyo yung favorite subject niyo nung nursing? Pinakamarami kayong natutunan cool. Ako first, sa first year, yung mga uh, parang general subjects, definitely anatomy and physiology. Kasi 
Doon ka parang may excite sa how the human body works, etc. Tapos, as you go through the course, kasi everything else is interesting na. So, ako po siguro, I'll go with health assessment. Parang maa-apply mo na kasi yung knowledge mo sa anatomy and physiology na, na subject. So, you'd get to assess na kasi if may abnormal findings na sa patient. So, parang big thing siya for me. Kay masasabi mo nang, hala, may ginagawa na ako. Oo. Parang ano na kayo talaga. Healthcare professional. Ganun. Yun pa pala, kapag mag-re-research kayo ng course and ng school, i-google nyo kung ano yung curriculum. Para alam nyo kung interesting ba to for me. So, yan. Pinapakita ko ito yung sa nursing. Kinailangan nyo ba mag-take ng additional units para mag-med school? Hindi oh, hindi. Po. UE kasi hindi na nagre-require. US rin ata. I okay. think ang natitira na lang schools na nagre-require is St. Luke's, PLM. Okay. So, oh, may mga ilan-ilan. Ni- oh, kulang kasi kami ng physics tsaka ng math. Alright. And then pala, meron ba sa course nyo na parang extra gastos? Magastos ba mag-nursing? Oo. Oh, oh. May exposures po kasi na sa labas ng hospital like yung psychiatric nursing namin na exposure and yung community health nursing. So, yun kasi kailangan namin mag-prepare ng programs kaya medyo maglalabas ka po ng parang own money mo. Tapos ito rin yung course na pinakamaraming uniform, no? So, may school <laughs> uniform, may community nursing uniform, may hospital uniform, may scrubs ka pa. Gana. Okay, oo. So, oo. so, ito naman, ah, uh, Ito yung mga nag-submit ng pictures. So, meron na kayong OR exposure. May shadow ka kasi ng nurse. Tapos yung CI mo na sa likod mo. Oh my God. Bubulong-bulongan. <laughs> Bubulongan ka ng gagawin. CI, clinical instructor. Oo, uh, yung clinical yes, instructor. So, yan. May OR experience. oh ito. Ano naman? <laughs> OR. <laughs> ito naman. Mukhang sa community to, no? oh yan. Pictorial sa OR. <laughs> yan. Nagkakating class sila, oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, wow, grand socialization. Mm. Yeah, usually, it's a psych yan. I think this is NCMH. Ano NCMH? National Center for Mental Health. So, all nursing students ng Manila, at least, nag-rotate dyan. Ah, kaya familiar ka. Oh, Yung <laughs> CI niyan, dadamerit na sila after. <laughs> Ginagawa niya dyan, ganun. Psychia yeah. din po yan. Ay, si Jun pala yun, no? Oh. Ikaw yun, di ba? Apo. Oh. Yan yung sabi po na, na labas ng sariling pera kasi kami po bibili ng mga materials. Ah, okay. Kaya rin lang masaya. <laughs> okay. Pero masaya yan yung best po for me. Okay, masaya talaga yung nursing mukha. But now, let's discuss if nursing is really helpful as a pre-med, particularly if it will help you get accepted into med school. So, ano ba yung kinakonsider natin na factors dyan? GPA-wise, and math wise credentials-wise, and also the timeline. So, let's start with the timeline. So, for example, you're a nursing student who is determined to go to med school. Can you describe the usual schedule or the most ideal including when to take the NMAT, the board exams, and also when to apply for med school. So for NMAT po, you can choose between two months. So in offer siya October and then March. So ikaw, fourth year ka nung nag-NMAT ka, di ba? Opo. Tapos, edi nag-duty-duty kayo nun. Tapos, Opo. <laughs> hindi kayo nakapag-review class. Paano yun? Hindi, no? hindi po. Yun po yung isa sa mga reasons po bakit uh, medyo struggle if you want a uh, high end math score kasi medyo struggle po talaga pag nursing student ka kasi may duty tapos nagsisimula din po yung review for the board. So, yun. Medyo toxic. Tapos, nag-board exam ka, di ba? Opo. Kakapasa lang ni Joe ng nursing boards. Yes. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats. So, then, med school ka na nun tapos nag-nursing boards ka? Uh, hindi po. Uh, yung med school started August po tapos yung board exam namin was on June po. Hmm, okay. Buti na lang. Kasi kami dati, June pa lang med school na. So yung mga kaklasik ang ah. first year na nurses, nagbo-boards pa ng nursing. Kaya mo, nakakaloka sila. Pero pumasa din. Yes. Okay. So that's the timeline. And then one of the factors to consider then for med school application is your GPA, your final grade. So would you recommend nursing as a course for someone determined to have a very high GPA for med school purposes? Well, if you're aiming for a very high GPA or your GWA for other schools, it may be difficult kasi there are a lot of your grades that would come sa subjective or sa practical part. So, if you'd go, if you'd go through the 
curriculum rin ng nursing, you'll see na malaki yung mga units. May subject ka, 12 units. Medyo mahirap iakyat yung grade kasi kahit i-perfect mo yung lecture part, yung RLE more or yung related learning experience is given, it's a grade given by your clinical instructor. May nag-advise rin sa akin yan. Although ako mag-nursing dahil kung gusto kong maka magandang grade. Wait lang, nakakaya naman. Baka si Joe sobrang taas ng GPA nito. Ay, hindi. <laughs> Si Nathan, top siya ng class niya. As in, top one siya ng class ng nursing. Nate, ah. nag-ano ka ba? Uh, Laude? Hindi. Hindi abot. Okay. With distinction lang. Pero top one na siya noon. So, para sa akin kasi, may mga courses na mahirap kasi ang taas ng standards. Okay. Sige. So, that's one thing to consider. And then, aside from your GPA, also yung NMAT. Will you recommend your course sa uh, someone na nag-aim for a very high NMAT? Ito pala yung components ng NMAT. Nursing itself, yung subjects na majors ng nursing, kasi I think it wouldn't really help a lot po pagdating sa NMAT. Parang more of stock knowledge talaga siya kasi, I don't know, for me, walang naitulong ang, ang nursing na, na course sa aking NMAT na. Kasi yung first part naman ng NMAT is more of an IQ test where it's something you can prepare for with practice test. So, yun yung ginawa ko. Pero sa second part, hindi na ako masyado umasa. <laughs> Kasi wala. Hindi talaga, mag, hindi talaga maganda foundation ng nursing as a course for the core science subject. Maliit lang yung units namin unlike other science courses na may may ano ka, may organic, inorganic chem, tas may analytical chem ka pa. Kami as in isang chem lang yun. Tas biochem. So, Pinakamataas namin social sciences kasi lahat ng mga <laughs> theorists, kilala namin yan. Okay, tama-tama. Ako, so, mababa yeah. ako dyan sa social sciences. <laughs> so basically, kailangan nyo na lang mag-self-study, which is okay lang oh. naman. Gagawin nyo naman yun ng oh. maraming beses sa med school. <laughs> Now, ano naman yung mga extracurricular activities na pwedeng gawin as a nurse na pwede mong ibida during med school application? It's the same. Yung mga student council, outreach program. There are two big, parang two big requirements in nursing school. So, sa second year, meron kayong community diagnosis. So, big thing yan. Tapos, pagdating mo ng fourth year, meron naman yung COPAR. Yung Community Organization Act. Action and Res- Participatory Research. Basta ganun, something like that. So, parang gagawa ka ng program for a local community. Ano, check mo kung ano ba yung problems nila. As a nursing student, pwede kayo magkaroon ng mga projects sa community. Tapos, pwede nyo ibida mm-hmm. na merong patient education, project management, yeah. mga ganyan. Okay, so the next question is, will nursing help students adjust or excel once in medical school? Kung maganda yung foundation. Alin dito yung subjects na meron na kayo nung nursing pa lang? Yung anatomy po, then biochem, physio, patho, pharma, microbio, and para, tapos embryology, at saka research po. Mababaw lang. Superficial, opo. Hindi pa po siya in-depth. So, nung first year kayo, first year and second year, ano yung parang hirap na hirap kayo na subject? First year med? Oo, uh-uh, first year med. Yung parang Bio-chem. kailangan mo talaga maghabol. <laughs> Bio kayo. <laughs> may, may gusto ba, no? <laughs> Oy, mag-interview ako ng BS Biochem. <laughs> okay. I mean, I feel like good kasi yung subject na pang matali. <laughs> na okay. ako doon. Ako naman, naalala ko, nung first year, yung mga kaklase kong nursing, medyo kapakapa talaga sila sa histo. Kasi, hindi ah, kayo nagma-microscope nun, di ba? Nung pre-med. Ilang naman. Mm-hmm. Tsaka yung histo namin parang incorporated lang sa anatomy. Okay. Pero in terms of clinical subjects, Nathan, ano dito yung na-take up niya na nung nursing pa lang? I think lahat. Pero ano lang rin? Touch. I am. Touch lang rin. Surgery. Oh, surgery. Oh. Pedia, oh. OB, isang subject yan. Nice. PAMED, oh, and community. community. Oh. Psych, may psych nursing. Neuro kasali yan sa med search nursing. Pati yung opta o ano, ENT. ENT. Derma, konti. Radiology, yan hindi masyado. Tapos rehab, yan madami ang rehab. Nice. Oh my. So yun talaga. Meron talagang theoretical and actual exposure. Yan. Skills and exposure. Alin dito yung meron na kayong experience? Nag-dissect kayong cadaver? Kami hindi po. Hindi. Okay. Yeah. Yung handling, meron yan. Meron naman kami mga microscope. Pero hindi kami... Masyadong history, eh. parang kunyari, CBC, mga gano'n. Mm, okay. Nag-experiment kayo yung mga... 
Oh, opo. Mm. Research. Yan, madami yes. yan. <laughs> Research, okay. Tsaka academic paper. Mm-mm. PE for sure. Mar- yeah. Ito dito kayo magaling, oh. patient communication education, hospital check, clinical care check. Yeah. Wow. So, that's good. Maganda talaga yung prep ng nursing. Okay, so would you say nursing is particularly helpful for any um, specific specialty during residency? Well, yung nursing kasi para siyang ano eh, Jack of all trades. So, hindi, wala, hindi pa siya masyadong committed. Pero maganda siya kasi exposed ka sa lahat eh. So, magiging okay. magandang factor din siya kung ikaw mismo sa self mo magde-decide kung anong gusto mo i-pursue okay. after medicine. Ako yung iniisip ko lagi, sa mga nagsasabi sa akin, gusto nila maging surgeon. Feeling ko kasi nurses lang yung may exposure sa OR eh. Tama ba? Kung gusto talaga nila mag-opera para makita nila yung inside the OR, mag-nursing sila. Totoo mm-hmm. ba yun? Well, may kita mo... Tsaka depende rin kung saan nag-rotate eh. Kasi may ibang hospitals, kanyari walang resident. Like ako, nung nursing student ako, nakapag ilang OR din ako. So yeah, okay. maganda naman siya. Mm-hmm. Pwede naman. <laughs> Pero sige na. <laughs> Accept ko na nga yung opinion niyo. Maniwala na lang ako sa inyo na kahit ano talaga. <laughs> oh actually yun. kahit ano talaga. Oo. What makes a nursing grad stand out in med school? Uh, if nursing graduate ka, magsa-stand out ka siguro sa mga small group discussions kasi may idea ka na on the, ano, on the medical terms. Parang hindi ka maninibago. Hala, anong ibig sabihin ng hypoxia? Hala, anong ganito yung mga procedures? Alam mo? So, oh parang if i-compare mo sa ibang pre-med, parang yeah. yun ang ano eh. Yun ang benefit mo. Kasi, ayun yung parang edge mo kasi pwede mo sila turuan, ganun, kasi may idea mm-hmm. ka na. Agree ako dyan, super, kasi Opo. nung first year ako, tapos nagsismall group discussion, ginugugle ko pa kung naibig sabihin ng crackles. Hindi ko alam kung ang RR, respiratory rate na 20, ay eh, mamamatay na, mga ganon. Hindi naman pala. So, yon Clueless. <laughs> tapos sobrang bida-bida talaga yung mga nursing nun kapag nagde-discuss sila. Anyway, ikaw, Nathan, as ano na, nagpa-practice na na doctor, ano yung background mo in nursing na na gagamit mo pa ngayon in medicine? Well, sa akin talaga, I think it's how the hospital works. Kasi backbone naman talaga ng hospital ang nursing staff. So, if you know what they do and kung marunong ka to work with them, everything's going to be easier. Kasi yun nga yung sinasabi ko, misconception na assistant ang nurses. Anytime in your career, if you know how to you know, work well with them, charm them, be hmm. friends with them, everything will be easier. For sure nga, pag clerk ka, mas, marag, mas magaling pa yung nurses sa'yo. <laughs> so, eh, ba? Sila pa yung magsasabi sila, oy Doc, baka pagalitan ka ng senior mo. Check yes. mo yung ganito, hindi mo na-check. Ito na lang, medyo patapos na tayo. Who will love nursing as a college course? And who should probably avoid it? Maganda siya, every day eh, may bago kang tao na namimit, tas na kukuha mo yung stories nila, you get to listen to their stories, and I think it's interesting. As a student nurse, you get to experience lahat ng procedures na gagawin niyo sa pasyente. For example, bed bath, papaliguan mo yung patient. Kayo mismo ng mga classmates niyo, paliliguan niyo yung sarili niyo. So, parang paliliguan niyo yung sarili niyo? Pag- yeah. Ay, parang, oh, yung... <laughs> Parang hindi ka isa, pwede isa. mo mahihain. Opo. Ay, sorry. Isang isa pala. Ikaw, Nathan. Sinong mag enjoy sa nursing? Uh, for me, ang mag enjoy sa nursing is yung someone who really enjoys yung nga working with other people. Parang you'll always be part of a team. Um, someone who's very curious din. Kasi I think this is the only course which exposes you to, you know, the hospital world at a very young age. No, isipin mo, ilang taon ako nun, kaka-18 ko lang, tapos nakita ako ng nagkanganak. Medyo na-shock ako, tapos ang bata ko pa. So, if you're open to, ano, if you're open to opportunities, <laughs> if you're open to opportunities, maganda siya. For someone who should avoid it naman, ay wala namang specific, no? I think, no, especially now na encounter ko as a professor, hindi naman lahat ng students ko parang bibo-bibo. Hindi naman lahat ng students ko uh, mad- madaldal or super outgoing. I think the course will really develop yun nga. Eh. Maganda rin siya kasi it will develop your interpersonal skills, which mm. I think is very practical anywhere you go. Yeah. No, kasi ang hirap nang hindi mo kayang i- ano, express yung sarili mo. So, yeah. Pero kung madidirihin, tapos kung ano ka, close, close-minded ka, ayaw mo ng bagong experience, yun na lang. Kasi babagsak ka. Okay. Hindi ka makakapasa ng nursing. <laughs> <laughs> babagsak ka. <laughs> Oo, oh, babagsak kita. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, feeling ko din, 
another thing to consider kapag nursing is very service oriented yung Uh-oh. nursing itself. So dapat yes. humble ka. Tsaka hindi pwede yung mag i ka. Remember, I think even kasi when you go to medicine, eh, you'll encounter patients na alam mo yun, maybe not as well off as you or in a different class or different belief. So kailangan you really have to be culturally sensitive, yeah. culturally aware. And yun matutunan mo naman yun as you go along. Yeah. Okay. Kaya maganda siyang early on exposure. Mm. Okay, if you could go back, would you pick a different pre-med course? Ako hindi. I'm really happy with my decision, no? If it made me a very different person. Parang super, you know me, di ba? Nung since bata tayo, sobrang immature ko. As in, hindi ko ma-imagine yung sarili ko na nagkikare for other people. After nung nursing, ang dami kong na-discover sa sarili ko. And I think yun yung reason kung bakit dumiretso pa ako sa profession na very service-oriented. No? It's not for everyone kasi. It's very taxing. It's very emotionally draining. Pero if you love what you do kasi, never mo naman ma, ano yan, mapapansin na. Parang mm. uuwi ka, alam mo nakatulong ka sa iba. So, yes. So ngayon, as a first year med student, Joe, nire-regret mo ba na nag-nursing ka? Uh, at some point, pero yun nga, dahil, dahil parang may advantage ka na kasi when it comes to sa medical side, eh, kaya it's a good start for like your four years sa uh, medicine. Meron ba kayong advice? Advice sa uh, most likely high school lang nanonood nito eh. High school student on the road to MD. Oh, for anyone considering a medical career, no, um, I think you should consider, you should definitely consider nursing because um, early on, like I said, it will expose you, you will get to know yourself more. And if, man, medicine is not for you, may mangyari, you know, um, hindi siya mapangit na career. Being yeah. a nurse is something I am proud of. Um, I still identify as a nurse up to today. I still keep my ties with my fellow nurses and I even teach nursing students because I really think this is a noble vocation. Yes. Smart. <laughs> Mr. and Miss Nursing 2020. <laughs> <laughs> jo, ikaw, Joe. For me... Maganda din ang nursing as a pre-med course. Pero personally, if you really want to pursue medicine, pwede ka namang pumili ng kahit anong pre-med course eh. What would matter most na pag nasa, nandyan ka na talaga on the spot would be your motivation, your willingness to learn. I don't think na magmamatter ang pre-med course over yung motivation. Oh, okay. So yeah. si Nathan, Mr. Nursing, ikaw, Mr. Medicine. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman. Basta final, ay, advice rin pala. Pagdating sa first year, Tiyaga lang talaga. <laughs> walang, walang pinipiling pre-med yan. Lahat True. kayo puyat. <laughs> True. <laughs> kahit yung mga PT nga, hirap pa rin sa anatomy. True. Yung mga biochem, mga hirap bio. sa biochem. Oo. Yes. True yan. Pero ako talaga, kala ko mamamatay ako sa biochem. Kala ko katapusan. <laughs> <laughs> Katapusan na ng road to MD ko dahil wala akong maintindihan. Okay. Pero, <laughs> Pero tandaan nyo, oh, tsaka tandaan nyo, pagating ng clerkship, tatawa ka na lang. Yes. Parang naglalaro. <laughs> <laughs> Parang bida-bida na talaga kayo sa clerkship. Uh-oh. I love it. <laughs> okay. So, tapos na tayo. Yes. Thank you again so much, yeah. Nathan and thank Joe, you. for joining me in this video. And if there are any nursing students or graduates watching, please share your experiences and insights in the comments below. Yung mga tinanong ko sa kanila, sagutin nyo rin para dagdag kaalaman. And para sa mga nagtapos ng video na ito, thank you so much much, I'd like to personally invite you to join the Facebook group Aarte Pa Ba if you want to help create the next video about your pre-med. And eventually, yun yung gagawin nating Facebook group for this full channel. So consider this your early invite. Ah, taray! Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you again, Nathan and Joe. Thank you. Subscribe! (laughs) Click the like button. Uy, magkakaroon ng ano to si Nathan. Sarili niyang channel. Papatumbahin <laughs> daw niya yung akin. <laughs> Hi from London. Good day. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Wait lang. Thumbnail naman tayo. Screenshot. Smile. Wait lang.